One of the most captivating sights at an air show is a modified British Hawker Sea Fury, which has smoke generators installed at its wingtips, which are used to inject smoke into its wingtip vortices, creating a dramatic display of swirling white ribbons that linger in the air long after the plane has passed. Look what happens with the smoke as he comes by. It will twist and turn, move up and down. Move and guess what across. happens if I get caught in that smoke but in my plane? There <laughs> I twist and turn. Fly, and little airplanes do not want to get into that. Okay, look. <laughs> now, watch what happens with the smoke. It's quite an amazing sight to see, the dense ribbons of white smoke just hanging there, almost frozen in time. But even though this effect was created using smoke generators and performed at an air show, every plane creates wingtip vortices as a natural byproduct of lift generation caused by the pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces of the wing. The high pressure air beneath the wing flows around the wingtips towards the lower pressure area above the wing creating circular or spiral patterns in the air, resulting in a tight circular flow that trails behind the aircraft and can be visualized like swirling sideways tornadoes. As amazing and beautiful as they are to look at when injected with smoke, wingtip vortices create several negative effects, such as increased drag, which results in reduced aerodynamic efficiency and higher fuel consumption. They also reduce the overall lift generated by the wing, which means the aircraft must work harder and use more thrust to maintain the same level of flight performance. Because wingtip vortices are always present whenever an aircraft is generating lift, many modern passenger aircraft have winglets at the end of the wings, which disrupt the formation of wingtip vortices by smoothing out the airflow at the wingtips. This disruption reduces the strength and size of the vortices, leading to a significant decrease in induced drag, thereby improving aerodynamic efficiency. Older planes are often retrofitted with winglets to improve fuel efficiency, and some winglets are easier and cheaper to retrofit than others. Not all aircraft have the same type of winglets. Some are equipped with different aerodynamic devices like sharklets or blended winglets. These designs offer varying levels of drag reduction and fuel savings, depending on the aircraft's design and flight profile. Additionally, different manufacturers have proprietary designs based on their research. For instance, Boeing designed blended winglets, while Airbus designed sharklets. Usually, wingtip vortices are almost invisible and only show as a distortion in the air, but under certain conditions, they can become visible when they interact with the surrounding air and moisture. When an aircraft is flying through moist air, the pressure drop around the wingtip vortices can cause the air to cool and reach its dew point. This cooling leads to the condensation of water vapor in the air, forming tiny water droplets or ice crystals, which scatter light, making the vortices visible as a white or grayish trail behind the aircraft. Wingtip vortices, also known as trailing or lift-induced vortices, can form at other points besides the wingtips, such as from the flaps and engines. As a passenger seated in front of the wing, you might observe these vortices forming near the engine while the plane is idling. Not only can you sometimes see wingtip vortices, but sometimes you can often hear them from the ground, but you need to be very close to a runway, preferably within a half mile of where planes take off or land. Once the plane has passed by, about 10 to 20 seconds later, the sound effect of the vortices reaches you. Wingtip vortices should not be mistaken for engine contrails, which are line-shaped clouds produced by aircraft engine exhaust, typically at aircraft cruise altitudes several miles above the Earth's surface. Contrails are composed primarily of water in the form of ice crystals. They form when water vapor in aircraft engine exhaust combines with the low ambient temperatures at high altitudes. This process is similar to seeing your breath on a cold day, where moisture in your breath condenses in the cold air. This is the most impressive footage of contrails I have ever seen. It was filmed by one aircraft passing overhead of another at high altitude. In conclusion, whether seen as a dramatic smoke trail or a subtle distortion, wingtip vortices offer a fascinating glimpse into the world of aerodynamics.